Hey guys, welcome back. If you don't know me, I am Miss Peppy Pearl, aka Peace, and part of my series, I'm doing a skincare series, and this is part two where I'll be sharing some of my favorite toners, serums, and like mask products that I use. So if you, you're coming from my previous video, I started off with cleansers. So hopefully you check that out. If you haven't, go and check that out and then come back here. But we are going to go ahead and get into it. say that I'm gonna kind of try to make this relatively short because I feel like when it comes to like mask serums and toners that's really dependent on your skin type so these are things that work for my skin type and if you don't know I have like oily type skin so yeah if you are that person continue watching but if you don't have that type of skin this these products also work for other skin types like sensitive because I, I do have sensitive skin dry skin and other types of skin but it's going to be focused on oily skin so if you are still here thank you please like subscribe and share with others and also please leave a comment i really want to engage with you guys i don't want it to just be like silent watching please engage with me ask question or you can ask me anything it doesn't even have to be related to this video but yeah let's go ahead and get into it so i'm gonna start off with like my first love actually how i got into skincare in the first place so it's gonna be this pixie um vitamin c toner so this is actually not the first toner i started off with i believe with um with pixie it was actually the glow something glow tonic toner and both of them kind of work similarly vitamin c if you already if you don't know helps with like brightening your skin that's why i kind of changed this because i just wanted my skin to be a bit brighter but the glow one also works kind of just like this and it's not as i would say abrasive because vitamin c can be a bit more abrasive especially when exposed to the sun so yeah pixie i love pixie products i don't think there's any pixie product i don't like that doesn't work for my skin again love it it does what it says it does it's made with vitamin c and ferulic acid so yeah it's a brightening toner so if you need to like brighten up your skin you can get this also it comes in this big size but it also comes in a smaller container like maybe like a travel size actually i think they have like three sizes yeah so it comes in those type of sizes so i do like that about pixie and also the wonderful thing about pixie is that you can buy it off of amazon ulta target and they also have their own subscription so if you know you're just going to be using pixie products which i was at the time you can just do a subscription and you get like 15 percent off so yeah i like this toner and why toner i personally noticed the difference in my skin when i started using toners so i didn't know about toners i just did the basic like skincare like you know cleanse my face maybe use some type of active serum moisturizer and that was it but when i started incorporating toners it definitely helps so toners basically just help to set the I guess set the table for your face for other products to come on there um, so it makes it just creates like a clean palette for your face so I do like toners but this is not the only toner I like the other toner it's the niacinamide um, brightening toner by good molecules and I like this toner because again it's a brightening toner <laughs> so you know your girl is trying to brighten up the face have that nice glow you guys ask about oh what's the glow it's from these two toners i really honestly believe so niacinamide is basically helping with like making your pore smaller giving you better texture on your face or getting rid of texture on your face also this help with just my excessive oiliness even though i still suffer with excessive oiliness but hey i don't have a problem with it because that's a sign of youth we thank God. That's why I have the baby face as you see. But yeah, niacinamide just helps with you know, making your pores not as apparent. And I just like the good molecules again because it's just affordable. I would say both of these toners are pretty affordable. But yeah, I definitely like the good molecule toner. This toner especially just helps with your enlarged pores, makes them, reduces them and whatnot. How you apply this with toners, you can do it two ways. You can just put it on your hands, clean hands, after you cleanse your face and just like press it into your face. Or you can use like a cotton pad 
and dab it on there and then pat it into your face so it's kind of like up to you what you want to do but i definitely like these two toners then there's this other i don't know if you would call it a toner but kind of like a face mist that i like it's also by pixie and i just love 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 that face mist i think honestly if you don't use any toner if you use that face mist that's really all you need it does what it says it's supposed to do it brightens your face it's it smells wonderful it gives you that boost in the morning or night if you use it at night and so yeah those are the toners i tend to use I do use another toner by neutrogena it's um an acne fighting toner but that's usually only when like i have like severe breakouts and that's usually during certain times so that's when I use that toner and I would recommend that too if you suffer like with like severe acne or just acne in general the Neutrogena one works definitely as well I would say like if you apply that in the morning by the time it's nighttime you no longer have that pores actually you don't even gotta wait till nighttime it really be gone midday um, with that one so that's another one that I do like in regards to toners but again I don't use that one every day the ones I mentioned before the pixie and the good molecules are ones I use more every day that Neutrogena one is when I have an issue with my skin so yeah that concludes all of the toners and like yeah all of the toners <laughs> that so let's go ahead and get into the serums and mask that I use right now I only have one mask that I'm using um before when I first started my skincare journey I think I used to use a mask by Shea Moisture. It was like this charcoal one, but I didn't like it. I think it was just a bit too aggressive on my skin. It just didn't work. And then the second mask I used after that was with Pixie. I do like Pixie mask. It just kind of depends on your skin. I think the one I chose was, again, for like oily type skin. And it was kind of like charcoal as well, if I remember correctly. But what brought me back into the fold of masks is actually the Tracy Martin um, enzyme exfoliant mask and, and it's a mask and exfoliator I love this mask this mask has brought me back into liking mask in general they it does what it's supposed to do so this product comes from Tracy Martin so it's made by Tracy Martin um, if you're not familiar with them I would just say go to their website um, they're more of like a luxury type skincare brand but they work so it's not just luxury with just a name you get me so this is a brightening mask and exfoliator and it's made with pineapple extract type and pineapple type enzymes it's made with like different types of exfoliant type ingredients who on the inside let me open it up for you guys so it's like a aqua green color on the inside so it's like bluish on the inside i love this mask all you do with this mask is that you actually apply it when your skin is damp so this could be right after your cleanser and you apply it on your skin and you leave it on for 15 minutes or until it's like completely dry and you'll know it's dry because it'll have that like crust feel on your face and honestly after you use it you'll see the results for yourself like whatever issue you are having with your pores or an acne or whatever it may be this will brighten up your skin as you can see your girl's skin is like listening yeah it's because of this <laughs> um but i just love this mask and even though it's small i will say it does go a really long way i think i've had this for almost a month and a half probably and as you can see it's still halfway so i think it's gonna last at least another three months or so yeah, and this works really wonderfully with the um cleanser that i mentioned in my previous video so again if you haven't watched that just go and watch that but they work together beautifully so i really do like this mask this mask i will say is a bit more if i remember correctly it's like it's for about 98 dollars um yeah it's a bit expensive but i will say that i do have a discount code that's in the description you can get some savings off of that and also i believe that if you're a first time buyer with them you also get a percentage off i think it's worth it because again you're not supposed to be using the mask like every day you only use this like two to three times a week honestly just when you need some type of like enhancement or like spot treatment this is the only time you really gotta use it so quite honestly you could really let this stretch for like half the year in my opinion which I think is a good deal considering, you know, how much you're spending. So, yeah, I definitely like this mask. So, that is it for me from the mask perspective. So, going back to Pixie Beauty, I would say that almost all of the serums I've used about, I want to say a good chunk of all the serums from Pixie. And whatever they say that they do, they do. I 
love the blue bottle i always forget which one that's for the clarity collection um the serum and that's the clarity serum because again it just helps clears any acne any spotting all of that yeah it will help clear everything i also like the rose serum that pixie beauty has as well i feel like it has a calming effect on my face especially if i'm dealing with like inflammation or just my face being really red because i've done something i wasn't supposed to do that serum also is wonderful so if you, again if you're looking for affordability but will also work Pixie Beauty, I would definitely start there because that's where I started anyway. And I definitely like the products there. The other serum I like that I say is also affordable is the Good Molecules Discoloration Serum. I love that serum. No, that serum worked immediately. Like, of all the serums I'm going to talk about, that serum worked immediately. So at the time, I was just suffering with, like, scarring and whatnot, um, which I need to, like get my skin back together as you can see <laughs> but yeah that serum helped with just getting rid of like all the you know scarring and hyperpigmentation I was experiencing and it only retailed for like $12 at the time I don't know how much it is now yeah so it's um so I just checked it's still $12 so it's um the discoloration correcting serum love that serum and I also like the um, other serum that they have, Overnight Exfoliant Serum, that serum also works as well. But again, you should not be using it every day. The the discoloration one, you can use it every day. I think it's pretty safe to use. I used it every day and my skin didn't react to it. But the overnight one, you, you kind of, you can't just use that. Like, you know, you got to brace yourself for stuff like that you don't want too much active or too much abrasion on your skin so yeah those are the ones from good molecules and pixie so now the ones i have in my hand that i believe like they're not my favorites but i'm telling you guys about them because they do have their own individual benefits so the ones i mentioned before i definitely think those are the ones you should purchase like if anything you purchase those are the ones you purchase these are just in addition to you get me so this is the coenzyme q10 serum by timeless and it contains water matrixyl 3000 ubiquinone glycerin high hyaluronic acid aloe vitamin e and benzyl alcohol dha I really like this serum because of the fact that there was one incident where I used an abrasion type device on my skin and I basically had like scarring and inflammation due to that hence why I'm, I'm not using it anymore and every product I was using all my other products was just making my skin react so bad you guys like it would just burn which tells you how bad whatever I did you know happen so I had this I was sent this and this was the only one that helped to cool my skin down and not just cool it down but heal it quickly so I would say if you are experiencing any type of scarring or any type of something has burned you this is very useful also I used it on my shoulder because I had like scratched myself um or was it sunburn I can't remember and yes black people can get sunburned I definitely learned my lesson um, but either way it was one of the two and I used it there and yeah it just it just helps with so much you know soothing and sensation a soothing sensation so I definitely like it and I would recommend it just for that but again considering the price that is up for you to decide I don't think it's worth it in the price it's just because I was sent this that I was able to use it so if you can find a cheaper version of this with all the ingredients I just listed yeah check it out and yeah that's why I decided to share so on to the next one so this is the Soam Institute serum and this I like this product because when used with the other products in the collection it helps there also the smell is very much like honey and it's honey and like it's not quite caramel like it's like a citrus caramel if that makes sense but honey and citrus caramel yeah I don't know how to describe that but this is really nice just for again spot treatment type thing again I was sent this as well and why I liked it again is just because like 
when you're experiencing different things with your skin, it can help there. I want to see what it's actually made for. Yeah, so this is this anti-aging protection. And it resells for $100. Again, that price is very scary for it. Okay, so it basically illuminates and corrects discoloration. And it boosts collagen. So I just know, like, after the age of 25 is when you're supposed to start incorporating, like, retinol and collagen well you can incorporate it you know when you're younger but i've heard that at the age of 25 is when like your collagen production starts decreasing and all that jazz this is nice for that if you need something to like boost you know elasticity in your face um plumpness and all that that will help with that and again it's made with the dispersion technology that i mentioned in the previous video again go watch that previous video so i do like it for that as well yeah it's just good for collagen production and correcting sun damaged skin so i've also used it on my body where i might have had some type of like you know sun issue yeah so basically i think the products that i like that i mentioned so i think the serums that i'm mentioning now are really good for both like your face and body especially for like sun damage or just improving certain things but i don't think they are a necessity in your skincare routine so i hope i've emphasized that enough because again this is 98 dollars for this small little bottle i don't think it's worth it personally i think you can find something else like aloe vera <laughs> that you can rub on your skin because yeah but if you want something in that price range and you want that hey go ahead be my guest so there's that so last but not least the last serum i'll be talking about today is the cool as a cucumber balancing act acne treatment serum and this serum i if you've watched my instagram or tiktok you already know i've already discussed this and talked about this I have been using this for like a solid two months now and I love the effects of it when, again, I'm experiencing like an acne flare-up or something like that. It's made with salicylic acid and almondelic acid. So it's like a lilac leaf cell culture extract. And it just helps to exfoliate and regulate sebum production, which is like the natural skin, the natural type of like oil that we produce helps to balance this. So I would say it's definitely great for those who have oily skin. Again, I only use this when I need it. It is not an everyday thing. It retails for close to $100 as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I was gifted this. I thank Cool as a Cucumber for gifting me with this. But this is very effective. Like, I really actually like this a lot. Out of all of the ones I just mentioned, I would actually continue buying this. Just because of how effective it is. Okay? So, if anything that I've said about the, the three that are in the $100 range, this is the one need to invest in if you're suffering like acne or something like that so i definitely like this it ha leaves like a clear finish it comes out clear and you just basically smooth it around your face one thing i should let you guys know is that when you're using these serums it's not something that you need to like dig into your face because when you're doing that you're also kind of like destroying your skin because it's like abrasion on your skin these should just be placed on your fingers and you're just you know lightly you know circular motions you don't have to dig it in it's already doing its job of going in the whole job is for them to penetrate into those lower skin layers so yeah that is it for me on the different serums um serums masks and toners that i would recommend to you guys that i personally use you've already heard some of the things that i think are worth it to buy and the ones that i don't think are worth it to buy but again it's at your own discretion on what you think you need and what you want but yeah that is what i have for you guys so thank you for tuning in to this part part two so we have one last part and that is the moisturizers um so yeah stay tuned for that in the meantime again please give a like thumbs up it you know leave a comment subscribe share with others and yeah just engage with me you guys um either here on youtube or my other social platforms so yeah i will see you guys later thank you so much for watching bye